Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. In today's video, we are going to learn about oil testing of transformer. So, based on the type of insulation mediums and cooling of transformers, they are categorized as dry type transformer and oil free transformer. We are going to discuss about oil free transformer in today's video. Transformer is a very crucial and most costly equipment of the entire switchyard. Hence, it is very important to perform the routine test on the transformer, take oil samples every year and get different kinds of testing done on oil samples to diagnose if there is any kind of fault that is prevailing inside the transformer or due to some fault any effect has been occurred on the transformer. Oil cool transformer can further be classified as mineral oil and ester oil. So we will be discussing about mineral oil transformers today. So why oil testing is required? Just to check the health of the transformer, to take action for extension of life of transformer and to diagnose of the fault that has occurred inside the transformer. Just as in the case of human body, we take the blood samples and we do various types of testing on the blood samples. Based on that, we get any disease if that has occurred in the body that can be easily diagnosed and according to the diagnosis the treatment can be done the same is in the case of oil testing for the transformer it is just a health checkup of the transformer every year it is done and based on the diagnosis if there has been detected any kind of fault that is prevailing inside the transformer then we can take further actions for the extension of life of the transformer so in the case of mineral oil, generally there are two types of testing that are being for the transformer oil. The first is called the routine oil testing that is done as per IS standard 1866-2017 and the second is dissolved gas analysis that is done as per IS standard 10593-2006 and IES 6056-2011. So friends, now let us understand how oil samples are taken from the transformer for routine oil testing. Basically, there is a bottom oil sampling valve that is present in the transformer. This kind of valve you can see in all the transformers. Generally, there are many different valves, top valve and different kinds of valves are present. But oil samples are generally taken from the bottom oil sampling valves right now from this valve we have to connect a flange to this and through a pipe we can take the sample so various kinds of flanges are available in the market whichever flange that fixes with this kind of sampling valve you can use that and we can take the sample for routing oil testing we take the sample in a glass bottle like this and as you can see from this bottom sampling valve we will connect a pipe and inside this glass bottle we will take the sample for routine oil testing you can just simply open this valve and you can fill this bottle with the oil for dga testing that is dissolved gas analysis we have to use a steel bottle but unlike glass bottle we do not have to use this kind of steel bottle in the downward position okay just because it will have some air bubbles or because of that issues we do not take the sample in this condition okay you should always avoid taking samples like this in the downward side okay for dg we have to place this steel bottle in this condition in the upside condition okay and we have to take the sample now to how to take sample you have to first open this valve okay bottom sampling valve and you have to keep this valve and both this valves of the steel bottle open the very important condition to take all sample for dga is that no gases should be present inside the steel bottle while taking the oil sample okay because of the present of such kind of air bubble or any other gas if they are present inside the bottle then the results may be manipulated okay so the first step is to open this bottom sampling valve and keep this and this both valves open okay and then you take the sample 
so once oil starts coming inside you can see this bottle okay so you have to fill this bottle up till the all the air is coming out and after that sometime when after some time when the oil will be completely filled inside the steel bottle oil will be coming out from the top side of the bottle this is the indication that there are no air bubbles or any other gases present inside the uh, sample steel bottle okay and uh, the sample is perfect so now both the samples are taken for dga steel bottle is used to take the sample and for routine testing this glass bottle is used okay the very important thing to be taken care is that both the bottle should be cleaned very perfectly with oil before taking the sample in okay and there should be no any kind of gas bubbles or any other gases present inside the sample while taking the sample from the transformer these two are the very important condition that has to be taken care okay next thing we do after taking the sample is we do the labeling on this bottles which will indicate which transfer the samples are taken from which transformer and its make and every other detail then date of sampling is very important to be mentioned on this uh, labels and once this labeling is done you can uh, give this samples to any testing oil testing laboratories okay and they will perform the different kinds of oil testing on this samples and according to the standards that are mentioned previously so friends in next video we will see the testing of oil and its limits for the transformers kindly mention if you have any queries in the comment section below so this is how the samples are taken for testing i hope you have understand the concepts and we will continue with oil testing in this series forward so thanks for watching our video and keep watching our videos thank you